After a grueling fight, you arrive in the DC Hotel Suite and take in the view of the landmarks from your windows. I'm getting real sick of airplane peanuts. Agreed. Clone and Hayden come through the door next. Oh, these rooms are so nice! Dipper rushes in behind them, barking up a storm. Good thing this place allows pets. Dipper hops up on the bed, circles twice, and then hunkers down on the comforter. Honey detected that she and Steve are all settled in, in their uh, room. Con and Alana are still checking in. Dump your bags on the floor and flop onto the bed in the middle of the suite. You're not going to unpack? I reserve the right to not move for at least 20 minutes. You find a remote on the nightstand and turn on the TV and you flip through the channels. Boring, boring, boring. This is why I don't watch TV. Wait, stop! Your finger freezes on the button and the news channel displays brightly on the screen. We're here with President Thompson, who's been gracious enough to talk with us. The pleasure is all mine. Events like this keep me busy, but I always have time for the press. It's true. I don't know how she does it. <laughs> Harley. Turn it up! So the question on everyone's mind is, what do you think of the invitation from Arrows? Are you going to accept? I'm very excited for the future of AI and impressed with Eros for embracing change. And I will absolutely be attending their invitation to the charity gala they're hosting later this week. They're lucky to have you. Vera chuckles softly as Harley presses a kiss to her cheek. Oh, isn't that cute? Well, you heard it here, folks. We'll keep you updated and have live coverage direct from DC later this week. See what happens when you actually respect the press? Cough. Hemorrhoid in office. The news switches to the weather report and you turn the TV off. Yikes. She has no idea what she's getting into. I guess Operation Save the President is a go. Harley looks thrilled. No, Operation Save the President is a go. Eros is really going to try to kill her. They're not going to get away with it. Well, at least she's got her squad on her side. Even if she doesn't know it. Yeah, but... We need a plan. And it needs to be solid, or it won't stand a chance. Hope you're all having a great day and the eve of battle. Twenty minutes later, the entire group piles into your suite to discuss the news. Why does it have to be mine? Why can't I just lay here? Just give me the cliff notes. Shouldn't we go to the authorities or something, or get Alana's Interpol people on this? <sighs> We're a uh, laughing stock because of why not a show. I mean, the authorities with this would sound would make us sound crazier. And all the evidence we have against them was obtained, uh, illegally. After the authorities have done laughing, they'd arrest us. Okay, I'm officially stressed out. Second in. Oh, could you please take the flowers off the dog, please? Dipper knows the Sloan's hand in earnest. Aw, oh, thanks, Dipper. Good job, comfort dog. Now go to Nadia. Dipper obliges happily, tail waggling. I'm telling you, the dog is artificial. I, uh, brought some double peanut butter, double peanut, double chocolate chip cookies from my bakery with uh, me and my luggage. I've already got, like, the highest amount of diabetes because of you. Leave me alone, stop. They're a little squished, but... Don paces in front of the TV, running his hands over his hair. We just need a solid game plan. And I also I need to do this for 20 more minutes to burn off the 400 calories from his cookies. Which we have time for. There's no reason. We have to go into this unprepared. I know, but this is a lot of pressure. Stopping an assassination is a lot of responsibility. Are we ready for this? Guys, duh, this is us we're talking about. Sloan is right. Ready or not, we don't have a choice. If we do nothing, the president dies and Eris gets away with it. At least if we try, there's a possibility we stop that from happening. Billy's right. Even if we're not ready, we have a responsibility to give it our best shot. 
well, the gala isn't for a few days, and we just got off a long flight. It might do us some good to take a second to breathe. Agreed. I need a break before I kill one of you. <sighs> Let it be me. We're all going to take a break. There's going to be some diamond cho choices to hang out with some people, visit some monuments, and then it's going to be the last two minutes as game plan. Steve and I were thinking about sightseeing. God damn it. <sighs> sightseeing. While well, Eros has eyes everywhere. Please. Steve and I have perfected the art of blending in. You haven't even changed your outfits once in this whole entire scenario. I mean, Eros thinks they've beaten us at this point. Probably satisfied that we're not a threat right now. Good point. I guess in that case, I'm starving. And I'd like to run over the blueprints at the convention center again. I'll join you. Well, if we're splitting up, I'm gonna go back to my room and see if I can call Hamza. Can I go with you, please? The group starts to clear out around you. Sloane and Hayden suddenly approach you, looking both excited and hesitant. <sighs> Let's just get this over with. Since everyone is kind of doing their own thing, I was wondering if you wanted to come with Hayden and me to meet my mom. Okay, you've piqued my interest. I want to see how your mom is. Watch her be like some cool Whitney, like, or not Whitney, um, Oprah Winfrey or Whoopi Goldberg type, and you're just like this weird eccentric one. Uh, the Miss Washington? She lives here, and I've been meaning to drop by. Make sure everything's okay. I also want to introduce her to Hayden. I've rehearsed my hello since my, uh, since this morning. I'm gonna get cold feet. Sloan, didn't you, uh, base Hayden's mother off of your own mom? Uh-oh. Not intentionally, but yes. There are some memories from Hayden's that were ours. Which is why I kind of think of her as my mother, too. I just hope she doesn't take one look at me and slam the door in my face. I promise you she won't. Though I am a little nervous, I haven't seen her since we she visited me back in New York. Come with us, Billy. We could use your moral support. Join Sloane and Hayden for a family reunion. Unlock a special romantic scene. Oh, and I called it. Nope, I'm staying and laying across the bed. Leave me alone. Dragon Ball Super Brawly movie's coming up. I j <laughs> it is. I think I'll just stay here in case anyone needs anything. Oh, um, sure. Oh, oh. Now take the dog with you. Dipper hops up on the bed and lies down comfortably. God damn it, that was my spot. I think Dipper's got the right idea. I guess we'll see you after? Yeah, tell me how it goes. I'll send her your regards. Let's go, Hayden. I doubt your mother even knows about me. Sloane offers her hand, Hayden gives you one last smile before taking Sloane's hand and leaves with her. Twelve hours later. A few hours later, your phone buzzes on the nightstand. You roll over from your nap to pick it up. Nadia? Billy! Everyone's meeting for lunch! I texted you the address. Get your butt over here! <sighs> Is there an option for no? Okay, okay, I'm coming. When you arrive at the restaurant, you cram into a booth with your oversized group. Okay. Did, uh, everyone have a good morning? Are you all in a better mood? No. Yes. Ooh. I got to chat with Hamza. He was very insistent that I tell everyone that he got a new Stegosaurus toy. Before anyone else could speak, a waiter arrives and places a fragrant loaf of bread on your table. Hum, num, 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 num. Okay, now that everyone is here and we have a sustenance, we can start planning. Damien, that isn't sustenance. Sustenance is me having meat in front of me. That is sustenance. Hashtag never gonna be vegan. Alright, well, consider this as an open brainstorm. Any ideas how we should play this? Are we really planning to save the president in the middle of a room where we can have eavesdroppers? Oh, okay, alright. Hmm, we could use disguises. Smart thing to do is split up. I'll leave this to the professionals. Okay, so what I'm thinking is... No! 
Honey, I meant the people with law enforcement experience. But you're a professional badass, Nadia. I'm just staring at you, Hayden, wondering why you're the perfect match. Thanks, Hayden. Uh, anyway, I think we should split up. We can cover a wider area of the gala that way. And keep an eye on the president throughout the night. I agree. The group continues to discuss options between drinks and food. The booth is too small for you all, and discomfort settles in. Uh, Beaver Elbow. Sorry. Whose foot is that? Oh, fucking let me out of the booth, please. Oh my god, can we please ditch this place? The booth is making me claustrophobic. We still have a lot to discuss. Well, I'm not gonna let Eros control every single minute of my life, and neither should any of you. Let's get out of here and walk. You can't stop an assassination without fresh air. I have to agree with her on this one. A little exercise will be good for stimulating our cognitive processes. I'm with Dania. I'm done letting Eros run the show. Let's walk around the marina or something. Still looking at you. Quick, head for the exit before Damien comes up with a counter-argument. You leave the restaurant and stroll out into the midday sun. See? Isn't this better? You're the one that forced us all in the goddamn booth to begin with. You act like you're curing, like, cancer. I do feel more relaxed. Satisfied, Nadia. Now, can we go back to planning, please? You have my permission. Oh, jeez. We're off the goddamn pier. Great. Personally, I uh, still think the smartest thing to do is split up into teams. We should also give each team a task, or at least some aspect of reconnaissance. Khan clears his throat and holds up a hand. Uh, Sloan and I can handle the tech side of things. Hacking and security footage might give us an edge. If we can had control of the security cameras, we'd also be able to see things. We should focus the cameras on the president, Rowan and Cecile, Harley. Hmm. We're gonna have eyes on the president. We're gonna be all around her, so that's not a that's not imperative. Um I feel like Rowan and Cecile. Hmm. I think the two of them will probably be on their best behavior. We should probably focus on the president and Harley. Just so we make sure we don't miss when Harley makes her move. What about the, like, lights and sound system? If something goes wrong, you guys could mess with that to give us some cover. That too! I dub the tech team. I'm looking at you. Just stop it. Wow. How original. I couldn't have picked a better partner. Sloan blushes deeply and meets his eyes. Me neither. Stare at each other for a long moment before Khan clears his throat and they both look away quickly. Alright, in that case, Alana and I probably cover security. We're uh, best equipped to deal with any obstacles that crap up. Obstacles like... The President's Secret Service? Question mark? They'll probably be closer to her all night. Exactly. Someone's got it. Why, thank you! You ready for this, partner? Damien chuckles softly. Ready if you are. Okay, 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 our turn! Oh god, no, please, uh, just... Nadia rushes to the front of the group, then spins around as she bounces down the boardwalk. Damien steers her quickly around a pothole before letting her continue. We're gonna be, uh, team work the floor! He and Nadia strike identical poses mid-stride. I feel like I'm dealing with the Ginyu Force. Now I know how Frieza feels. We'll keep the people happy. Charm the crowd. Make sure no one suspects anything. And if anything goes wrong, we can create a distraction. You can distract people with a... Dance-off. Everyone loves a good impromptu dance battle. 
I feel like the energy is being sapped out of me as I read this. Oh, that's perfect. We've been practicing some moves on our own anyway. Okay, can we move on? Oh, no, we're going to keep this going. Okay. I could uh, take any other one of those fancy Galagas. Plus, it's probably a good time to mention that I've got a friend on the inside. Works as one of the caterers for the event. He can probably help us get in. Good to know. And the crowd management actually isn't a terrible idea. Good thinking, you two. But, okay, but what about me and Billy? I'm, I'm, I, right now I'm wondering if I should join Eros and just go for world domination. Really contemplating it. Well, the goal is to get close to the president. If the rest of us are managing the other aspects of the gala, then it's up to me and Hayden to tail the president and Harley. Okay, can I stop you? Can I just stop you for just a moment? Okay, alright. <clears throat> so... You were just on TV. You think the president or any of the guests aren't going to notice you? Just... Just saying. Wasn't... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't Harley on TV too? Like... I just... Just continue. You'll need to make sure that uh, when the opportunity to expose Harley presents itself, you're in a position to jump on it. Should I wear a disguise or something? What if people notice that Harley and I are the same? I don't think anyone will be paying close enough attention. If anyone does notice, they'll just think Harley's changed outfits. Well, even still, we should probably avoid being right next to the President Harley unless we're ready to make a move. A lot of your strategy will have to be improvised. Billy and I are good at improvising. We can do this. Took the words right out of my mouth. Gary walks beside the docks to look over the water. Damien sighs and braces his arms against the railing. I'm impressed, Billy. You've had some good, pretty good ideas. No wonder you're our fearless leader. You helped come up with a great plan. No, no, I think all of this plan is shit, but I digress. It's about time you all appreciated my genius. Well, at this rate, it's a plan. Bare bones, but still a plan. About this plan, I... What if something goes wrong? Change all our names and move to a remote island? I don't think we have the luxury of plan B. We either do this right, or the president dies. And Eris wins. We listen to the sound of the boats bobbing in the water for a while, and everyone lost in thoughts. Eventually the group begins to break off, and you're left with Damien at the railing. Feeling any better about where we stand? A little, but I, uh, was actually thinking about something else. I'd like to go see the Lincoln Memorial. Maybe sit and people watch. Do something normal. Wait, that's that's normal to people watch? Damn, and I thought I was abnormal. Normal isn't exactly our specialty. All the more reason to check it out. If you want to join, invitation's open. I'll think about it and let you know. Leave Damien to his thoughts, and find Sloane and Hayden who are sitting on a bench, poring over a map. Anything exciting happening over here? <sighs> Besides predictable gameplay. Hayden and I were thinking about places we might want to see in DC. A reward for planning, in a way. Personally, I've always wanted to see the Library of Congress. Really? I never took you for a history buff. I'm more intrigued by the books, actually. There's something really beautiful about all the stories kept in there. That does sound pretty amazing. You're always welcome to join us. And what about you, Hayden? Hayden looks abashed for a moment and gives you a sheepish smile. I want to see the Washington National Cathedral. I know it's not your run-of-the-mill tourist spot, but I really want to be somewhere that makes me feel connected to something right now. Sure. I wouldn't say no to some company either, as long as you don't mind answering a match's questions about life and death. Hmm, no, I ever mind of that. Glance down the boardwalk and see Alana, Khan, Steve, Nadia appearing in the shops, so you join them. Everyone's splitting up. Seems where are you guys headed? Our room has a jacuzzi and. Oh, enough said, Khan. 
I need to clear my head before tonight. I'll be enjoying my own company, centering myself in quiet reflection. Can I join you, please? Cool, I guess. Alana? That's classified. Grace an eyebrow at her and she rolls her eyes. I need a dress for this fancy party, so shopping. And you're not invited. I was... I was thinking it could be sexy undress time in a dressing room, but... Fine. Fine, fine, I can take a hand. I'll find something else to do. And who should I do it with? Your left hand for zero diamonds! Oh god, help me. Do I have to? Sweet mother of god, is there no other free option? I would rather plummet off the dock right now, hit my head on the rocks, and float in a bloody pool of my own blood. But I digress. You spent the rest of the week strategizing and preparing until the night before the gala finally arrived. Everyone is gathered in your suite, making last-minute preparations, because everybody needs to join my suite. You can go to Nadia's, Steve's, anyone else's. Oh. You're not part of the plan, leave me alone. Hey girl, how are you handling the stress of the upcoming mission? Dipper rolls over on her back and begs for belly rubs, you oblige. Ah, I see. You truly are a wise creature, Dipper. <laughs> Looks like everyone is in pretty good spirits. Check in with Hayden. At least they're normal. Wander over to Hayden, Steve, and Khan, who are standing in a small circle. Khan balances nimbly on one leg while Hayden and Steve observe. Anything exciting going on over here? I'm demonstrating a tree pose. It's great for centering yourself. It's all about finding balance. We're all explaining about what our go-to stress relief move is. Getting out all the pre-mission jitters. Steve attempts to mimic Khan, but starts wobbling as soon as he gets his leg up. I don't think that one's for me. Well, uh, what's your go-to move, Steve? A nice run outside usually does it for me. The longer the better. Nadia just expects it as, uh, at this point. Sometimes I'll be out there for three or four hours just running with no destination in mind. And he gets nothing for it. Like, think about this. You're a robot who loses and gains no weight. He's just running. He's like the running man. But pointlessly. Running can be a great stress reliever. I'm not surprised that works for you. More power to you, Steve. Right. Hayden, your turn. I hate running. I never really thought about it before. Usually, I just have to get nervous. The nervous energy out of Anyway, I can. Like a ton of shots or a dance-off. Will you stop it with this dance-off shit? What did I become in a relationship with, Maxwell? Yoga, shots, to each their own. What about you, Billy? Uh, to calm down, I usually use, uh... <laughs> Scream into the void. <laughs> I like this. I like this. Use aromatherapy. Eh, not really. Ask my friends for help. Not really on that either. Um, I'm gonna go and scream into the void. <laughs> oh? Yep. It's very cathartic. It actually is. I rarely do, but it is actually cathartic. Well, now we've all got some options at least. I think I need to try a tree pose a few more times. Say no more. I've got you. Practice makes perfect. After all, go on to Steve. Move over to the open area of the carpet by the bathroom to continue their yoga. I think we should try Steve's football chant when we see the president. I think I'd rather go with your method. Ah, oh, no, I'd rather go with my method. Oh, no, it's the president. And begin screaming. I'm glad we get to be a team for this one. Being near you always makes me feel less terrified. I feel the same way. You take your hand and lace your fingers together. We started this adventure together, and tomorrow night, we're finally going to see it together. Pretty wild, right? We've come a long way. 
Eh, I wouldn't change a thing. Bullshit, I would. Well, maybe a few things. In last warm, lean squeezes your hand. I'll always be glad I met you, Billy. No matter what, we're gonna get through this, Hayden. We've historically always made a good team. We can't argue with the results. Let's get this out of the way. Wait, no, hold on. God damn it, it's Nadia. Oh, God. Let's get Make your way over to Sloan and Alana, who are standing by the window. As you approach, you catch the tail end of the conversation. I'm serious. Damien told me how much you've improved. Ought to get the believe the girl I met in Berlin bested Damien the Zero in combat practice. It's true. I saw it with my own eyes. Sloan's a certified beast. Sloan blushes. It was pretty cool. I mean, I'll never be at your level, Alana, but it's fun to really see what I'm capable of. Never say never. You've got potential glasses, and I don't say that to just anyone. I'd be happy to train with you one-on-one -on -one if you ever were interested. Really? That would be amazing! Alana, as your personal trainer, that sounds like a one-way ticket to a six-pack, like a spy original story. Or origin story. My what? Y you know... Like, nice young scientist trains with an international badass to become her protege and the most powerful spy in the entire world. I make no guarantees. That's okay, I think. I've had enough excitement, and I don't really need to add being a super spy to the list. I'm hoping I don't really have to use what I've learned at the gala. But it's nice to know that I can defend myself and my friends if I need to. Alana looks over at the minibar and rolls her shoulders a bit. I'm going to take advantage of your room's overpriced whiskey while I have the chance. She leaves you and Sloane looking at the view outside the hotel. Sloane frowns. Billy, I'm scared. I think that we all are. It's okay. I'm so scared that everyone else that... I I'm not even scared for myself. I never thought I'd... Someday, be afraid of heroes hurting people I love that I can barely breathe. You couldn't have known that this is what was going to happen. Sloan, you're not responsible for this. I know that now. I just have a hard time getting my anxious brain to listen to my logical brain. Just breathe. You're incredibly smart and capable, and you happen to be a badass. Alana Kusuma just confirmed it. If anyone gets through this, it's you. You're smarter and stronger than your anxiety, Sloan. Plus, you're not alone in this. You could... lean on any of us. We're all here for you, Sloan. If you're scared, just know that you have a good support system no matter what. Thanks, Billy. I really needed that. Anytime. And finally, Damien. You find Nadia and Damien on the roof, staring out over the city. They look at you as they, you approach. Billy, we were just talking about you. Hopefully good things, I hope. Uh-oh. Nothing bad, silly. We were just reminiscing. I'll be honest, I never expected the three of us to have a rescue president of the United States. Oh, I don't know. We're like the three musketeers, so this seems kind of appropriate. What's your professional opinion, Damien? Do you think we're ready for this? Ah, uh, when I met you two, I, I had a feeling my life wasn't ever going to be the same. I knew we'd get into our fair share of trouble together, and that I'd be happy to do it, just as long as it was with you. Aw, oh, D. I don't think I ever imagined this exact scenario. Mind you, but considering our history, I think we've got a pretty good shot. Don't expect the trouble to stop after those. We've got tons more in store for you. I can handle it. My hair hasn't gone gray yet. Challenge accepted. After this, the three of us should break into a zoo, become a crime-fighting vigilantes, start a band, and tour the world. Crime-fighting vigilantes. I mean, we basically have everything except for the costumes. You're right. And Damien can do the intense, gritty vigilante voice. I can what? It's fine. We'll practice. 
I guess this all depends on whether we actually save the president or not. Well, we will, Nadia. Gotta have faith. I hate that phrasing. I know you two can take care of yourselves, but put my mind at ease and promise me you'll be careful. When we... have we ever been anything but? I don't think we have time for me to do a... to list them out. Nadia's lip wobbles, and she suddenly lurches forward, throwing her arms around the both of you. If you start crying, I swear to God. I love you guys so much, you know that, right? I love you too, Nadia. We're gonna get through this. We're not quite done getting into trouble together. Nadia gives you both one last squeeze before pulling away and wiping her eyes. Okay, no more being sad. I have to channel my inner badass before the gala. I'm going to go back downstairs and practice my tough face in the mirror until I feel powerful. You do that. Nadia hunches her shoulders, scowls, and walks away with purpose. And Damien chuckles as you watch her disappear down the stairs. So, how are you really feeling about tomorrow night? Nervous, determined, exhausted. Eris has been hounding us for so long it feels surreal to think tomorrow could be the end of it all. I know what you mean. And I'm worried about you. I, I know you can handle yourself, but Eros has never played by the rules. True, but we're pretty much experts at dealing with them at this point. We should get degrees. Get degrees on what? Being captured and then released by interns? Shut up! I'm serious, Billy. I know, but you don't have to worry about me, Damien. I have the best team in the world behind me. I'll be fine. We all will. You're right. And yet, you're going to continue to worry. I have your reputation to uphold. Come on, we should head back downstairs. And Damien, get back to your rooms before closing the door behind you. Across the room, you watch Alana's profile as she gazes out the window. Alana. I know that look it was on my face for months at the Academy before I worked up the nerve to talk to her. I don't know what you're talking about. Damien rolls his eyes at you and leans in, pointing at Alana across the room. You are smitten. Smitten? I just admire her finesse. If you're interested in Alana, unlock the special scene. Oh! <gasps> Ikatsuks. And her face and everything else about her. Oh, <laughs> you realize we can all hear you flirt with her every time you open your mouth, right? But I was being so subtle about it. Uh-huh. I am into her, but wouldn't it make things weird between us if I were dating your ex? Oh, you don't need to worry about that. Alana's a lot of fun, and, uh, she's, you know. Please tell me she's going to blow my mind, or be the death of me, or both, in your personal experience. Give me clears his throat, a ruddy blush blooming on his cheeks. A gentleman doesn't kiss and tell. Oh, sure, sure. I appreciate your concern, but it's not necessary. I support you and all of your uh, thirst-related endeavors, as long as you're safe and happy. Aww, supporting me living my, my thought life to the fullest? You're so sweet. Anyway, I trust Alana, and I know she'll treat you with respect. Just be careful you don't get too attached. She's, she's not the type to settle down. You deserve partners who will let you make their heart your home, and Alana, she will never be that. Damien? No offense, but you never have stood Alana's heart. Who says I'm looking for that? Ooh. Ooh. That. That. Ugh. Seems like a jab at him. I would have liked a third. Yeah, you're not allowed to... You're not allowed to... <laughs> um... No offense, but you never... I feel like that's a jab at him. It really sucks. Um... No, I don't like jabbing. I don't like jabbing at someone. Not as, especially you're supposed to be your best friend. My life these days is all car chases, explosions, running away from murderous robots... Alana's a fantastic partner to have on a life-threatening adventure. I can't argue with that. Just 
So just to be clear, no, it would not be weird if you wanted to date Alana, or well, no weirder than anything else we've gone through. Hmm, really? Good God, you sound like a kid on Christmas. Were you really just holding out because of me? You bump a shoulder with your own. You're important to me, Damien. Hopefully you know that. Are we having this conversation and forgot we were totally into Hayden as well? I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, don't get all sappy on me now, Park. After a moment, you leave Damien and look around the room again. Suddenly, there's a loud, violent knock on the door. Bang, 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 bang! Are we expecting a guest? Alana moves towards the door, her expression dark. He's late. Who? who, who who's late? Alana swings open the door to the suite... And a man shoves his way inside. Forgotten all about me, haven't you? Too busy trotting all over the damn globe. It's the tech creep from Berlin. Your memory churns. Nikos opens a deposit box on his wall of weapons and hands to you. The power core. Oh, I haven't forgot him. We'll be waiting for your shipment of the prototype. Hopefully sooner than later. Back in the present, you balk at the chaos of the room. What's going on? You! Nico st stalks over to you and points an accusing finger in your face. You owe me prototype! I, I don't owe you shit, son. Sit down before I break your finger! I mean, what? Yes, you forgot all about Uncle Nikos! How dare you! Dario, I beat you! After first, after we have a vodka. Let's come, let's go to your mini bar. I'm sure you've got vodka. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, I hope you all did enjoy the video. You know what to do. Without further ado, head down to the description below. Links to social media, Discord, and a few links to support me and my content. So, pretty much, we're done until Friday. Um, I will be. Um, streaming a few other games tonight as well as <gasps> Spider-Man yeah uh, Spider-Man Turf War DLC um, gonna finally get around to that uh, and then tomorrow we'll be streaming some more Friday we'll be doing Choices Stream and then some more streaming it's a stream week baby we're doing tons of it as long as things don't you know go wrong uh, so without further ado thank you all for tuning in I hope you all did enjoy. Let me know in the in the uh, description, or, well, comment below the description. Um, let me know. I, I mean, there's times at Perfect Match, don't get me wrong, it's it's a decent series. It's decent. However, I just feel like it's, it's love hacks meets derpy, stupid, like, um, slap-happy, predictable gameplay of just... It's love hacks, and we're trying to take down a, a world, kind of like they're going, they're they're trying to own the world, kind of organization. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like it's it's a thing. It's it's a thing that needs to be fixed. Like it's too late, but I wish they'd take it a little bit more seriously that we're trying to take down this organization. Um, yeah, that's about it. All right. Catch you folks later. Peace.